made it made it through that little slumber so and I guess it's also good that no zombies can break through these type of walls I haven't made it far enough along to see if multiple days in if there's super strong zombies that can break through and get into things someone breaking furniture 13 tiles to the south one two three four five six seven eight I'll be outside at least survived another day we can do martial arts holler or awake um holler is going to become extremely useful real soon uh, we'll pick holler that way I can carry another MRE pretty much every MRE that we can carry is another day's worth of survival so once um once survival gets even more difficult than it has been and we have to start running around looking for our food that'll be useful being able to pick up four or five military rations and still have plenty of ammo and health packs on you it's kind of nice a new wave of refugees enters the city so refugees come at noon and zombies come at midnight screams of terror echo through the building through an open window sounds like it's coming from the north just keep waiting we're gonna have to get some food Got that MRE gone is that it um, let's see how many MREs total we got one on us there so these are the last MREs that we've got I think we'll pass one more day in this building and then we're gonna head out better stock up on ammo I don't need two shotguns let's see pick that up pick this ammo up I'm not sure if I should drop drop some of this food and take a health pack. Because I really don't want to drop a pistol. Except I'm not going to have ammo for it. Range is 6 through 3 and this is 3 through 1. The only problem with the shotgun is that if, if you want to get into combat, you have to get really close to things, which means you can be surrounded very easy. I'm not sure. I'll think about it a little bit more. Do we even have any pistol ammo? What is this? Army ration, shotgun cartridges, you light pistol ammo there. So, just wait it out a little bit more. Waiting interrupted by what? Fighting 11 tiles to the south. We'll wait here. It's day 3, hour 20, it's almost. Someone is bashing barricades, 7 tiles to the south. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Someone's coming through that door then, probably down there. Someone is breaking furniture, 7 tiles to the south. We'll keep our eye on this door, and we're going to actually fall asleep just in case. Just in case they come there and start banging on this door to get through. Might be a little bit rusted. Time passes. It is now midnight. Because if we do get chased out of here, I don't want to have get chased out whenever I'm already sleepy and end up hitting exhaustion while running down the streets. Oh, what a soothing piano. I'll chew on this. And I think we'll head out then. There's no reason to stay in here anymore take one health pack with us. We've got two rations left on us, so we need to go start searching for another char building, perhaps. The sun is rising. We can do bows, light eater, and leadership. Um, I don't know if I want to choose light eater or leadership here. Light eater would be, of course, useful. We all know why. And being able to recruit two people would be nice, but seeing as how I don't even have one, I don't really need level two yet. So we'll do light eater. Tear down this barricade here. Motorbikes, 101 tiles to the southeast. Rest up before doing this. Oh, there's a skeleton. It's out of range. Step a little bit closer. Reload that. So who else is out here? Kind of scared. We got Zombie 409, undead since day four. Zombie Master, undead since day four. Oh man, there's a whole bunch of them down the road there. Another skeleton. Unfortunately, I don't have any extra stamina. I didn't get any choices in that for leveling up. 
Um, is this another office? Oh, a whole bunch of zombies here. Holy Paul's zombie. Carla Hewitt's. Pablo Tarver. Ginger Dobbs. They're all dead. Their bodies are wandering the streets looking for food that doesn't exist. Everybody's the zombies, and zombies don't eat other zombies. I guess they don't believe in zombie cannibalism. Biker bodies. What do we got here? Blue pills. I don't really want to drop anything for those. I guess actually... No, we'll keep the pistol. I need another level and choose another hauler perk. Ah, shit. Turn that corner and there's a whole bunch of zombies. Get out of my way, skeleton. Your brothers are chasing me. Bam. I'll load a shotgun shell into his body. So this is a big char building down there. Unless it's um, just sideways. Crap. So do we have another zombie? Johnny Stevens. Now if I leave and try to come back this way, it's going to be impossible. Damn it. Go down this way. No, push him off. Brush him off to the side and continue running. More zombies down this way. Get out of my way, you, you fools. I don't want to join your dark crusade. Oh, God. I cannot run. I'm too tired. Um, now that's it. You join the realm of the undead. Game over. Caught Brad Robertson, zombie. We did not, we did not get to make it to the police HQ this time. I think we might have spent too much time holed up inside the char offices there. And unfortunately, whenever we ran out, I made a couple bad decisions and got ourselves cornered. The zombies groped and pawed at us until they pulled us down to the ground and then ripped our throat out with their, their mangled, nasty zombie teeth. Not a very good run there. Um, Tori Carpenter, she survived till day four and all this other stuff. May her soul rest in peace. And she got the third rank somehow just by staying alive and not doing much of anything at all. So good job, Tori.